All right, guys, we got a 2006 Nissan Frontier with the check engine light on. It's got 141,000 miles on it. We're going to scan the codes and see what, uh, what we've got in here. All right, let's do a code scan. Okay, unfortunately for this gentleman, the code he has in there is a P0430, which is a catalyst efficiency low bank 2. All right guys, thanks for watching Ask My Auto Mechanic. Today we're going to be replacing a catalytic converter on a Nissan pickup. Now, what a catalytic converter does is it reduces the emissions down inside the converter. There's a sensor that goes right here in front of this hole, or in the screws into this hole, and then there's going to be another one after it in the pipe. And as the exhaust comes out from the engine, into this hole goes in here and it actually reduces down comes out the other side with less pollutants for the air now this sensor and the sensor that goes right here measure how well that works and if this converter isn't working as good as it should the check engine lights going to pick up on that and the car's computer is going to illuminate and put the check engine light for a p0420 code or a P0430 code. If you have one of those codes in your system, it's probably because you need to do one of these. Now, you can buy these aftermarket that are what's called a direct fit. They bolt right in place like this one does. But inside the converter, there's not quite as much material in there, and they don't always work as well. They sometimes set the check engine light. In this particular video, we're going to be replacing the converter with a factory a converter right from Nissan so that we lower the risk of the check engine light coming on down the road. Alright guys, so we got a factory Nissan replacement cat and we're going to replace it on this Nissan pickup. There's actually four converters on this truck okay. so it's important that you locate the correct converter to replace. Beings we have a P0430 code we need to replace the one on the left bank, which is the one right there. If we had a P0420 code, we would be replacing the cat that's on the right side bank. So, beings there's four converters, both of the converters there in green are not monitored and won't set a check engine light. But the converter there on the left, in the yellow, is the one we're replacing. The converter circled there on the right in the red would be the one to replace if you had a P0420 code. Alright, so now what we're going to do is unbolt the converter. There's studs there in the front and also in the back of it that you just basically unbolt that converter there and replace it. Now we've got the factory Nissan Cat that's going to bolt in its place and you can see we've got the gaskets there necessary to replace that um, for the one in the front and one in the back. Alright guys, we're going to take this uh, machine for a bit of a test drive and uh, what we're mainly doing in the test drive is listening for any kind of rattles or exhaust leaks that may have been created, uh, being as we had the exhaust system apart and down. Sometimes you can, uh, you know, develop uh, an exhaust leak from the repair and you don't want to have exhaust leaks in your system. So we're going to double check to make sure those are, uh, nothing like that's happening. We're also going to, um, um, you know, double check, make sure the check engine light doesn't pop back on. Um, so I'm really glad that this guy chose to go with the Nissan brand converter. Um, I know it's tempting to go with the direct fit aftermarket uh, converters um, and in some cases I think that that's okay but where this is a real common problem it just seems like the aftermarket ones um, gosh a lot of times I'll put them on and six months later it'll set a an efficiency code because the converter just doesn't work like the original factory design on it the car's computer is wanting to see a better result from the uh, uh, lowered emissions and sometimes the aftermarket converters you know granted they say they're OE replacements um, I've just seen where 
time and time again, we'll put one on six months later, uh, 500 miles later, it'll be back in with the same code and um, we'll put on a factory converter right from the manufacturer, like in this case, Nissan. And it, it it's fine. The customer doesn't have any problems. It lasts as long as the original one uh, did. Unfortunately, guys, um, I personally, in most cases, um, wouldn't take the risk at saving the extra money to to go with um, an aftermarket design. Um, you know, obviously, if there's there's a real big difference in cost, um, you know, you can do that. Uh, you can put it in an aftermarket, and, but just understand the risks. And if you're okay with the risks that that it may not work out um, long term, then at least you know and you made that decision. Um, but if you're going to keep the car for a long time and uh, you want to, you know, rest assured that the converter is going to hopefully last as long as the original one did, um, your best bet and your safest bet is going to be the original manufacturer design.